Hello, Twitch and YouTube. Welcome to the pre-show of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Uh, we're here before Facebook starts up, but not for long. That's it. Welcome, everybody, to Assassin's Creed Syndicate Part 4. four part 4 on uh, the Voice of Nick channel here. This game's pretty damn good. I'm actually uh, pleasantly surprised. Mostly because... Um, Super News host himself, Bill Correa, sort of lowered my expectations. He's not a big fan of, of Syndicate. He like he thinks that Unity is like way better. He thinks Syndicate was like missed the mark. Uh, not to you know say anything about Phil, but I uh, you know I trust his opinion, and I was sort of um, surprised to see that it actually is pretty good, or at least I like it. So here we are. We're playing uh, Syndicate, having a good time. Let's uh, let's jump right into the story here because I don't have like a super lot of time today. Uh, where is our story mission? Damn, it's pretty far. All the way over here. Or here. Let's do this one because it's a little bit closer. Kamalendez is in here. Uh, Mark Anthony Shalaba is in here. Oh, just got home from work, too. Hello, Mark Anthony Shalaba. And, uh, Kronos Morpheus1234. Hey, Nick, been a hot minute for me. Welcome back, Kronos Morpheus. Uh, good to have you back. We are back in the Assassin's Creed series playing some Syndicate. Once again, I don't think I'll be done with Syndicate by the time Origins comes out, but I'm at least shooting to be done with it, you know, as soon as I can after Origins comes out, because obviously I want to play Origins, uh, and, uh, you know, we're, we're doing our duty here. We're trying to get through the series. So we're, we're trying our best. Uh, Kronos Morphe is saying Syndicate improved upon Unity. I agree. I think that a lot of the, especially, like, the number one mechanic that improves on Unity is that you can dodge bullets, which is obviously pretty unrealistic, but I don't care, man. I, I thought that was so stupid in Unity that, like, if somebody decides to shoot you, you're just done. Like, you basically just take the hit. Because um, it's already unrealistic that if you get hit by a bullet, you don't die. So, whatever. It's a video game. Let me dodge these bullets. Uh, yeah, and then all the stuff on top of that is just gravy. Alright, we're driving our horse carriage. We're doing our thing. I still, I, I mean, I appreciate the, um, the, uh, performance of the game. It seems like it runs pretty well. Unity was like a rock. You'd never see a, a frame rate hitch, but this one's pretty close, too. I think we're starting to get to the point where my 1070 is, uh, Maybe getting pushed a little bit, you know, to its to its limit. I'll have to check the uh, the performance statistics and stuff. Here we go. Unnatural selection. Uh, let's do it. Reese saying, "Yay, Nick, my favorite AC." Conlena saying, "How are you? I'm good. I'm very, I'm very well." Uh, might be next. I'm wondering if that's a famous guy. This will complicate things. Yeah, Jacob. Got his top hat and everything. I gotta get Evie a top hat if she can wear one. One, two, three, four, five, six. What is up with the numbering of these? Does three mean like that's the type of enemy they are? Uh oh. Uh oh, that guy saw me. Hey, what a strategy! Make them all go the other way, baby! Oh my god, did I actually pull that off? Ah, oh, crap. Alright, I guess we're fighting then. 
Uh, Scott Meisner saying three means level. That makes sense. The big guy is a higher level than the other ones. God, I love it when you knock their hats off. It's just such a great touch. Although Jacob's hat can never get knocked off. Damn. Boom. Oh, the guy's in there. Let's see if I can... Hey, there he is! I can't do anything with him, though. Can you see me? Hey, lady. See ya. Oh, I like how he takes... Look at it. He takes... He puts the hat away. And then he puts it back on. I thought it was just disappearing. That's a great touch. They had to model that just for this costume. That's awesome. You should not go about frightening respectable gentlemen, young man. I didn't realize snooping around was considered gentlemanly. Snooping? Sir, I assure you. Keep vigilant. Quick, inside. That was too close a call. Gave me quite a fright. I thought you were one of them, but I realize now why you're here. Same reason I am, I imagine. I imagine? You should see this. Can I use that? No. I hear a chest. What am I looking at, bearded Rather impressive hat guy? Contraption, wouldn't you say? I've seen bigger. <laughs> Nathaniel, say Nick. Stramonium, or devil snare as it is commonly called. That goes into the syrup. And opium, no less. Revolting. Absolutely sickening. A favorable way to proceed, wouldn't you agree? Oh, jeez. Nice job, guy. Uh... Way out of here. Quickly. What about the other valves? Take a wild guess. Uh. Very well, young man. Oh, okay. I guess we have to sabotage these valves. Uh... Oh, first off, let's see if there's anyone in here. Oh, there is a lot of people in here. Okie dokie. Let's try not to die. Hey! Boom! How about you? I don't know how I feel about the level ups not working for both characters because, like, I feel like I have already made the commitment and purchased something for Eevee, and then they'll force me to be Jacob, and I have to play a different gameplay style. I mean, I guess it makes sense for their characters, but. Ripplife Zero on Twitch saying hello, hello Ripplife Zero. Oh, here we go. Here's this lady. Should we wait for her to turn around? Nah, we can just go in there. Boom. Yeah, and a treasure chest. Uh, no, I don't see it. Can I see it with my eagle vision? Is it above? Oh, it's probably right there. Yeah. That's it. Give me those crafting ingredients. Also, I appreciate I appreciated what they were trying to do with the uh, you know, putting the eagle vision on a timer, but I'm glad they got rid of it. <laughs> I don't think it was that much fun, so I'm glad they uh, they fixed it up in this one. All right, can I? Yeah, don't go near the gas. Oh crap! This is gonna get me in trouble one day. Zip lining all the way up like this. All right, let's try and mark some of these guys. One, two, three. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Go down. Go down. How can I grab something? Ah! Well, that didn't work. Let's just go up the stairs like a regular human being. Or we climb and then go up the stairs. Hey, buddy. We're not doing anything suspicious here. Get out of here. I love how he grabs them by the legs. That seems like a good strategy, because then they're off balance before you kill them. Oh, Reese Madrid's saying try to use daggers. That's a good idea. Let's see if we have any um, skill points, by the way. We have two skill points. So, I mean, I really feel like I should min-max them in their actual things before we start branching back out. But let's, let's do that first. When you bring an enemy to near death, your next attack against a different opponent automatically puts them to near death state. That seems pretty good. That's going all the way back to like Assassin's Creed 2. I think Brotherhood? Maybe we should increase his stealth by a little bit. Yeah. Let's do that. You know, we're, we're min-maxing, but not really. And we're at level 4. Okay. Nice. Here we go. Oh crap, are both of them coming this way? Uh-oh. Oh, he turns just in time! Wow, that was... Rip Life Zero saying, are you getting Origins? Yeah, I am. Uh, that's the reason I'm playing this, actually. I've never played Syndicate before, and uh, I want to, you know, have played it before Origins comes out. Oh crap. Oh my god. They're too close. I can't deal with this. How does he not see me, by the way? I can't take both of them, apparently. I gotta wait till they... Ah, crap! Is that gonna work? What's going on here? Is it frozen? How did he not... Oh, that was something right there. I don't know what just happened, but we, we got out without being spotted. Sure, why not? Damn, there's so many valves on this thing. Alright, I think that's all the guards. Okay. I don't have any more smoke. Oh, I do have a smoke. I guess I must have picked that up or something. Get him. That's it. Okay. That was close. <laughs> Now get over here, guy. Is that a full stealth takedown? I think it is. The game doesn't reward you for that, but I'll just pat myself on the back. Every man for himself. Uh, oh, okay. How do you grab onto a sphere like that? A cylinder? Oh. Well done, dear boy. Well done. Charles Darwin. Ah! Delighted to make your acquaintance. Of course Check we know Charles Darwin. Which is all mine. While you were busy wreaking havoc, I found this. It indicates that a sample of every batch has been sent to Lambeth Asylum. I wonder if it's visiting hours. Don't be so hasty, Mr. Fry. Many people work at Lambeth. You wouldn't want to attract unwanted attention. Mm. And what's the fun in that? 
Not every problem can be solved by blowing things sky high. Sometimes a little discretion is in order. It's getting late. I will meet you at the asylum to continue our investigation. Ripley says, did you not know assassins are part Spider-Man? I guess I should have should have uh, expected that by now. I'm going to rate that memory. Five stars for Charles Darwin being in there. All right. Left the restricted area. Done. We got a dark leather belt. Let me guess. You need to be level... Oh, we are level four now. Let's see. Uh, inventory. Belts. Give me that dark leather belt. Do we have other belts? Oh, no. We don't. Taking that. New weapons. To be level three for that. Level three, level four. Oh, it's available. I don't want to buy it. I own this. Let's use these new brass knuckles. I feel like Jacob should be using brass knuckles anyway. Okay, so number one, we should find a guy to buy more uh, gadgets and stuff. And then let's take down this, whatever that is. <clears throat> okay. We got a plan, guys. And I'm spider man -ing. Why would you not use the zipline when given the opportunity to use the zipline? That's my question to all of you. God, it's so great. I can't believe it. They did it, guys. This is so cool. Oh, my God. Origins, you got to figure something out because I want to use the zipline forever now. Oh, Inez Lima saying, I want to play too, but uh, I still have to play the last of Ezio's and the other ones before this. You got a ways to go, but there's a lot of good stories ahead of you. Ezio might still be some of my favorite Assassin's Creed games. Uh, I love that character, and I love that they followed through with his storyline. Um, yeah, Philip Breckenridge. Can I zip line? Can I zip line? I can zip line. Yeah! Uh, Colin Julian James uh, Fredelia saying zip line for life! Oh, our guy's right here. That's him. Run over the target in a carriage. That is my specialty. Give me a carriage. I wonder if I can, like, hijack from... Oh, no! They're coming after me. Uh-oh. But does Philip know about me? That's the question. Come here. Come here. Yeah! Oh, crap. Well, I guess I'll just have to keep punching you. That's a carriage. Give me that. I need to run someone over with it. I hope you have insurance. It's gonna be a messy explanation. Alright, where are you, Philip? Breckenridge. Where'd he go? Is that him? How do I get this guy? Probably have to lure him to the street. Oh wait, that's not even him. That's just a sniper character, isn't it? Maybe I could get out of my thing. Maybe he ran away. Alright, maybe let's uh, kill the extra guards around him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, that's Philip. Okay, hold on. So all I have to do is not kill him now.
Philip's content to just wait there while I do my thing. Very polite of him, really. All right, Philip. Chase me, chase me, chase me. Don't shoot me. Oh, I threw a knife at, wait. He's so close to death. Just get this carriage. Hold on. Give me that carriage. Oh God, this ain't gonna go well. Give me a carriage. Will you get in? Oh my God. All right, use the medicine. Get in. Oh, that's it, he's done. Oh, he's not done. Now he's done, now he's done. Uh-oh, oh. Oh, well, at least we got him. It wouldn't let me get in the carriage, you guys saw that. I tried my best. Ooh, that's a nice big chunk right there. Associate Activities. Ned Weinert. I guess that's a new associate we can get. Doing fine, dude. Oh, I fell underneath this other carriage. Damn. Jacob's taking a beat in here. All right, go. Kronos saying, unfortunately, I'm off to work. Thanks, Nick. Thank you, Kronos. I'll be doing more Assassin's Syndicate uh, for the next few days, so stay tuned if you want to see more. How do I get in this area? Maybe there's a skylight or something. Uh, I hope I don't have to go through the whole building. Oh. All right. Open a damn window! There's so many windows, why can't you just open one? Oh my god, this building is huge! Alright. Okay, where's our guy here? He's over that. Ah, get off the tracks! Hey! Is that our... That's not our lady, is it? I can't remember what she looks like. Alright, we're going to Ned Weiner, and he's over that way. So how do we get there? It was like a raised platform, wasn't it? Oh, apparently not. Get out of my way! Oh, Ned Weiner. Yeah, it is a lady. I knew you'd show. Maybe. My warmest welcome. It's our business to keep London in balance, monitoring shipments by road, sea, and rail. Our biggest problem, the blighters. If you could rid us of them, I'd be ever so grateful. It would make London safer. If you find anything that sparkles, it's yours. I do love a bit of sparkle. Okay, cool. What are we doing here? Wait, what am I doing? Was that just like a... <laughs> They're just telling me like, hey, why don't you uh, take down the blighters? Thanks for that information. I never would have thought to do that. Get out of my way. I'm an assassin. Fancy Pants 208 is in here. Nice TV head. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right, we gotta get out of this train station here. And go up to another tower. Damn, there's so much stuff in this game, it's crazy. And we can zip line to all of it. That's it. Yeah. Fancy Pants 208 says, I'm upset. Why are you upset, Fancy Pants? Matthew Welsh saying, hey Nick, Reese Madrid, uh, oh, there's an open, oh, you were talking about where to get to, uh, Ned. 
That's, uh, that was weird. I guess that was just a mission that, like, activates that person, or, like, some kind of bonus with that person, maybe. Um, kind of makes me feel like I should do the rest of those before I keep playing. But, eh, we'll, we'll see. Oh my god, look at this. We don't have to even climb this thing. Great. Uh-oh, Fancy Pants saying, I broke my Bayek statue. Oh, crap. How'd you even get your statue so early? Or is it, it's not the pre-order statue, it's like a different statue. I'm sorry to hear that. Wow, that's a lot of missions we gotta do. Okay. Let's do a Templar hunt, I guess. And it's right here, so convenient. Actually, let's go to the shop first. You want anything from the shop? Cornetto. I wonder if you can buy Cornettos in this game. Probably not uh, time accurate, but... I would certainly appreciate it. Hey, he called me his best customer. Oh, Fancy Pants saying, I mean the one that comes with the game. How did you get it early? I thought it doesn't come out until Friday, right? Um, but yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. It's, it's like beyond gluing or fixing up or anything. Here's, I feel like we've seen this lady, Myrtle Platt. Kill using hanging barrels. Well, it seems like the kind of building that would have some. Yeah, there's some hanging barrels right there. But the question is, can we do it without anyone seeing us? Usually not. Oh, hey, hey Myrtle, go, go over there. Hey Myrtle. Ooh, they give me a little bit of uh, aim assist here. I guess that's appreciated. It's not exactly the kind of game where accuracy is uh, at a premium. All right, Jacob, go a little faster. Hey. Come here. <laughs> Very eloquently put, lady. Ah, a policeman. I'm fighting with you, policeman, because I'm a, a ne'er-do-well. Mashazo, Sam, Facebook uh, was lagging. Switch to the tube to see all those missions you have. There are certainly a lot. It gives me anxiety. Jonas Christensen saying, yo, my boy. Hello, Jonas Christensen. Thanks for tuning in. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Yes. That's it. Okay, locate Emmett Sedgwick, bring the target back alive. Is that a different mission? Oh, I'm in the middle of two, I'm in the crux of two uh, Templar Hunt missions at the same time. That's weird. All right, how do I get in this building? That looks like a way in. We're entering blight a territory. Uh-oh. Hey! Don't look at me! <laughs> Apparently she saw me and then didn't see me. Uh-oh! Hey, how about you? Don't look this way. Alright, we're done. We're done. We're done. I feel like I'll just not do the bonus objectives in this game. I'm not stealthy enough. Especially not as Jacob. I probably should have been uh, Eevee if I wanted to do that. But I do like fighting, so I guess I am more of a Jacob than an Eevee. Maybe that's why they created the two characters, because they knew that uh, the stealth was pretty tough in in, uh, in or, uh, Unity. You can call in all the reinforcements you want. I'll take them all down. Yeah, me and my brass knuckles. That's it. Oh, nice try, nice try. Oh, damn, you actually countered me. All right. Well, I got four health kits here. I am ready for anything. Boom, boom, boom. Can I throw you off the edge? That'd be a nice little ending to this fight. 
Damn, all right, that's it. I'm looting you too. So we didn't get the bonus objective, but we did take her out. Let's try to dodge these police officers here. And are we out? Stay near the live target. Oh, because we're supposed to, they think we're in the other mission too. All right, let's go do that mission, I guess. Okay, so we got these people to take out. Oh, somebody sent a picture of that Bayek statue. It's pretty badass. Um, I stood next to a life-size Bayek statue at Tokyo Game Show, and uh, that was pretty damn cool. But yeah, I remember I bought the uh, limited edition of the first Assassin's Creed, and the, the statue it came with was like, like six inches tall. Uh, and I remember they made it look like it was going to be bigger, and I was really upset that I bought the thing for that. Uh, so we've come a long way. The Bayek statue looks pretty awesome. Get over here. Uh-oh. Kidnapped person saw me. You're not going to get far. Yeah! Oh, so now we have completed the one mission, and we'll go directly into this mission. I hope they don't restart it. Yeah, the, whatever the, it wasn't even six inches, it was like this big. It was like a miniature. Uh, the original, what? rather. What the Altair statue that I got. Where are you me? So we're going, I guess, just out this way? Don't Quiet. call me a rat, that's not nice. Calm down. Act normal. Yeah, oh, those are bad guys. There's been a warrant out for your arrest for nearly a decade. So that's what you do? You work for the cops? You could say that. It's about time. I've been at this for years and gotten away with every single crime I've ever committed. They can't break me now. It would be wise to keep quiet. Fancy Pants saying, like, the size of little G.I. Joe guys. Yeah, so, G.I. Joe is an appropriate size, but the, the one that I got... Oh, crap! Oh, crap, I'm not supposed to punch that guy. Alright, get out of here. How many cops am I gonna fight? I like that he's very polite, though. He's not going anywhere while I... Yeah, the one that I got was, like, the size of one of those little green army men. Uh, toys. That's it, that's it, that's it. Look at this guy, he's not running away or anything. What a nice guy. Hey, bud. Can I... Oh! Did I kill him? Ah! What happened now? Am I... Oh, I have to pick... Wow, it's like a dead or alive type thing. Well, that was your fault, Jacob. You could have subdued him without killing him. Damn it. All right. Maybe I should have, uh... Should have, uh, uh... Knocked him out when I originally got him, but... I didn't want to look suspicious on those streets. Uh, I don't even know if I'm... Going the right way here. I can't really tell how to get where I'm going. It's a dead end! Alright, we're gonna go all along the streets. Kanye Romani Inglis is in here, hello! Here we go. Put the target's body in a vehicle. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Damn it! Damn, a lot of bad guys around. I suppose this is the reason why you don't, uh, 
knock the guy out because it'll be suspicious to everybody else. But at least we have friends around town to uh, help us out. Back here at 95 saying, why isn't this game popular? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe people got tired of Assassin's Creed after a while. That's why they took a year off, I guess, to make uh, Origins. But I think it deserves a lot more praise than it seems to have gotten. What's this guy doing carrying a, a butcher knife all around? Yeah, we got a lot of guys to fight here. This mission is proving to be a lot more difficult than it's supposed to be. It's really because my stupid getaway guy is so far away. Why doesn't he go closer to the, to the mission area? I feel like I can actually do the combat in this one Whereas in Unity, sometimes it's just like, well, you're dead. Like you're not gonna, you're not gonna win. That's it. Gotcha. <laughs> Masha's always saying, "Do not pick fights in the butcher district." That's uh, good to know. All right. Now that there's corpses littering the streets, let's get out of here. I wonder if I can just take him to a regular cart and then bring that cart to... Oh, I probably was supposed to do that, because I carried him to the objective. Damn. Lesson learned, okay. So we should have put him in a cart. Noted. All right, let's do one of these. Cable news. Hey. Can I do a zip line? Yes. God, it's so badass looking. Give me that animus fragment. Cargo escort. Is that even on the thing? Oh yeah, it is. Cargo escort. Well, we're gonna do a mission. So give me that vehicle that someone has apparently abandoned. Got a bunch of something. Oh, this is the cargo escort. Well, I guess we're doing this. Anonymously bring it back to the destination point. Okay. Uh-oh. No! They know about me. What are the odds? A mission in which we're protecting cargo, somebody finds out about me? I don't even have a, 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 a gang member to help me. Oh crap! That lady is super dead. Nice, okay. This cargo vehicle is pretty damn powerful actually. Get out of here, you tiny little cart. I have a giant cargo cart. You think you're gonna get me? That's it. Oh crap, we're spotted again. That's it. Ah, they just spawned right there. I saw you, Assassin's Creed, trying to cheat me. That's it. Boom. Yeah. This cargo vehicle is pretty resilient. All the other ones are like, they take like one hit and they go down.
Alright, we're almost there. But we have to be anonymous, I think. Damn it! Recruit! Uh oh. Alright, we're fighting now. Yes, gang members, help me! Yeah! Okay. Now get in. That was pretty cool. Scott Meisner, I got a jet. Uh, I'll see you, Scott Meisner. Thank you for tuning in. Ned Weiner. Oh, that's Ned Weiner. Okay, cool. Where'd we end up? Oh, we're way far away. Let's go to our uh, train hideout here. Oh, we shouldn't have fast traveled, though. That's my thing. I don't like to fast travel. Well, we'll do it this once. Earn XP from unlocking... Ah, oh, that's not the kind of stuff I want to read about. I want to read about Victorian England. What time is the Victorian era? I mean, it must be in the 1800s. It's after the Industrial Revolution. But, uh... I guess maybe, like, early 18... Like, maybe 1820s or something? Nigel put his foot in that again. All right, we wanted to do... What happens if we look at this? So we'd basically be jumping ahead. Huh. Oh, I heard... I saw... The, I saw a couple names that I liked the idea of. All right. What do we got here? Growler Boom, Little Rooks. Interact with children, they'll give you better loot items. Blighter things are less resilient. I want to do this one where they don't initiate conflict. Yeah. That cost me a lot of money. Get these kids, give me better items. It's a very Sherlock Holmes thing to do. Alright, that's all we can do. Nice, that was good though. Firearm upgrade now. suggested. May as well make ourselves oh. At home. oh, that was an Eevee mission right there. So I wonder if those are missions we can find around the city, but they're just giving them to us here? I don't know what the deal is. But we can upgrade our firearms, so let's do that. Also, I appreciate that they tell us that. So we can actually just switch to this one. Which we're gonna do. Yeah, look at him flip the gun around. Yeah! Nice. Oh, do we have more skill points too? Two skill points, nice. Okay. Slayer 2. Or we can get more health. Let's do Slayer 2. Oh, we can do gang upgrades from anywhere, that's good. And we can do crafting. Huh. Yeah, they're really streamlining it this time. Cool. Alright, let's do... Uh, I should probably get more towers. Go that way. What an unusual glove. I am a kid in, in Victorian England, governor. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever an assassin can. Here we go. Boom. Love it. Damn, this game looks good. Colin's saying, how can you bash into them with a horse carriage? Don't ask too many questions, Colin. I don't know. <laughs> but it looks cool. That's the answer of a lot of stuff in Assassin's Creed, of like, eh, it looks cool. Huh. 
We're making our way over there. Damn. We are really making our way across the city. This is cool. Give me that zip line. Yes. Damn, this is good. Majizo is saying, drop the R in it, governor. May I have some more? So much smog and, and smoke coming out of the stacks in England at this time. A lot of pollution, I'm sure, they caused in the Industrial Revolution. It was before they figured out what environmental effects were. Guys, if you're just tuning in, we're playing Assassin's Creed Syndicate! Oh, that was lucky. Uh, um, we're playing Assassin's Creed Syndicate right now. It's part of my AC series playthrough. I'm going to be playing through the whole game of this, and then we're going on to Assassin's Creed Origins when that comes out very soon. Uh, so stay tuned on my channel, The Voice of Nick, if you want to see more. I go live every single night on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube, and sometimes I go live in the morning, like I am now. Uh, so, yeah, if you subscribe on any of those, if you like my shows, you'll be able to see all the stuff I do when I do it. Give it a shot, guys. And if you want to join The Voice of Nick Discord, where there's a whole bunch of cool people, and uh, I'll give a heads up whenever I'm about to do a show, and you can go to the link in the description of this video. You'll be able to join the Discord from there. There we go. I want to take a horse cart. It's my thing now. I'm a horse cart guy. If I can find a horse cart, get over here, horse cart. Can I, like, zip line? Oh, I can go to this one. Cut it off at the pass. Hey. Crikey, what's going on? I don't have a good English accent, really. Oh, Jonas Christensen in here with that knowledge. Victorian age is from 20th of June, 1837 until 22nd of January, 1901. Oh, okay, so that's like any time. So that crosses over with like, um, even like Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. We could get some, uh, we'll probably won't meet Sherlock Holmes, but we'll meet uh, Conan Doyle possibly. I'm trying to think of other notable uh English figures. I guess we'll keep it a surprise until we go. But, uh, this is super cool. I'm, I'm really into it. It's such a great time to be doing assassin stuff. And it feels the closest to what everybody's wanted, where it's like, let's get a modern day Assassin's Creed. Because uh, we're getting there, you know. Reaching the 1900s, sort of. Get on that thing, Jacob. We're gonna synchronize. All right. And with that, everybody, that's gonna do it for today's show. Once again, this has been Assassin's Creed Syndicate, part four. I'm gonna keep going through this game until I'm done with it. And if you don't know me, I'm the voice of Nick. I go live every single night on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube simultaneously. So wherever you're watching, if you want to follow along with this game or the ones I do in the future, like Origins, Assassin's Creed Origins, uh, then make sure you subscribe. You'll see me wherever you're watching every time I go live. Uh, if you want to join the Voice of Nick Discord, you can go in the description below and check that out. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's all get hyped for Assassin's Creed Origins. I'm pretty hyped right now. All right, I'm just going to keep ziplining around Victorian England. I'll see you guys later. Bye.